Remember the movie back in the 57, Brides for Seven Brothers, starring Howard Keel? Well, it's being done on television now, a new series, and I'd like you to meet two of the young stars of Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. This is Terry Treese, and this is Richard Dean Anderson. Now, you may not know this young lady. You haven't seen her all that much before, but her mom was on Kidding Around a few months ago. <laughs> her mother came to Union College. Her mother teaches dance, and so we did some aerobic fitness. And at that time, she, she was saying, I have a lovely daughter, and she's going to be in a new, <laughs> she called a new movie, Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. At that time, we did not know it was going to be on CBS. So when we discovered it, I said, hey, your mom was on the show. And you yeah. know what she said? She said, Ask Terry to tell how she could protect her space when she oh. learned to dance. <laughs> so it's the first real terrific lesson my mother ever taught me. My mother, being a dancer, had known what it means to protect your space. And when you're dancing in a group, it means that you stay within the space that's allotted to you. And I was seven years old doing a television show in Kansas City, and the director had told me to stand on this X. And I, for some reason, the little girl next to me was my friend, and she wanted to dance on the X, so I just kind of moved over and let her dance on it. And I heard my mother out of that blackness out there say, Terry Lynn? And I went, oh, God, here she is. She's here. And she used to never, would never come with me when I worked. But she was there for some reason, and she grabbed my arm, and she said, that director is paying you to stand on that X. Now, you're getting paid for this, so you protect that piece of floor with your life. If that little girl gets in your way, hit her. <laughs> and she'll never get in your in way, way again. again. And so I, I can't do that. She's my friend. Well, you know, she said, if you don't do it, I'm going to beat your tail. <laughs> that's not what she said, but that's a word I use when you get back here. And I went, oh, okay. And I went back and I hit her and I gave her a bloody nose. You really did? Ruined her career. No, I didn't. No, I didn't ruin her <laughs> career. Nose, I just, <laughs> she probably helped her career. <laughs> Well, you know, you know, Terry graduated from high school very, very early. What, 16? Yeah. Straight-A student, mm -hmm. honor society, the whole nine yards. And did you know that she, when she went to New York, she stayed in the Salvation Army House for Women <laughs> in Greenwich Village? Yeah, it was a real dump. That's what <laughs> education will do for you. <laughs> you didn't have any money? Well, or no, was it I went, place? It, was a, it was a hotel for women, and you got two meals a day there, and that was included. It was like a dormitory. And... Um, a lot of the girls who were at Joffrey and on scholarship stayed there. So when I went to Joffrey, my mother said, you know, where are all the girls staying? I want Terry to be with, you know, the rest of the girls. I don't want her to be alone. So that's where they, they sent me. Mm -hmm. mm. Richard. Hello. Ma'am. <laughs> Hello. Yellow. We don't want to not include the star of the show here. I've never heard the stories before. <laughs> oh, I'm <laughs> glad. Um, we saw him in General Hospital for about five, five long years. But mm -hmm. you're from Minneapolis? I mean, you went to school up in Minneapolis, went yeah. to Guthrie and so forth. I'm from Duluth, oh, yeah. originally. My, my so grandparents are from the Iron Range up near Up in Hibbing? Hibbing. And, oh, really? Well, they're from Buell. Oh, my goodness. So you know that area, and so therefore sure. you loved hockey. I, I know you broke a couple of arms. What were you doing? Under what circumstances did you break them? How? Um, playing hockey. Yeah, I know, uh, but what, what happened? <laughs> I was, um, you know, I, it was a, the first one was just an accident, you know, just uh, people break bones playing hockey, and I was an avid hockey player as a kid, and three weeks later I was playing hockey again in a cast, you know, I just, that's how avid I was. And I got tripped and I fell forward, and as I'm falling, I, in that split second I had to think whether I wanted to protect this arm or, or fall on it, and what had, major decision had to be made very quickly, so I twisted to get this one out of the way, and the other one got caught under me, snapped at the elbow in about 18 different places. Oh. The x-rays look like pickup sticks. There's bones everywhere. Hope you're all eating breakfast. <laughs> uh, so I was in the hospital for four months in traction, uh, a couple of major operations to piece me back together again. Kind of lost my forward motion in pursuit of a professional hockey career. But I noticed you didn't lose your teeth. A lot of hockey players. Remember Bobby Hall? Bobby Hall without the front teeth because he got the puck in the mouth. Sure. Time. Are you a fan of the Minnesota North Stars? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I am now. Uh, my team, as I was, a, I grew up in Minneapolis, but I still loved Montreal Canadiens from the day I was born, and that I knew what a hockey puck was. They just epitomized what a hockey team was. They it's skated. a fast game, and you know when I see the pros get into those fights, it really upsets me because that's not necessary. Right. The game moves fast enough. You have to be oh, a yeah. very good skater. You got to be strong. You got to be tough. Yeah. Anyway, you don't need to fight. Well, from, that's stupid. Make it a circus. Yeah, from the outside to have that's a very common attitude, and I agree. It's it shouldn't be necessary, but there is a and the nature of the game is 
is violent, and they're and when you're down there and getting sticks in their face and just all oh, accidental, you know, as it may be, I can understand how the tempers are triggered. But mm -hmm. you're right, it's real ugly. It does not give the mm -hmm. game a very good name. Well, in addition to Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, you're going to see them in two new movies coming up. I saw you in Young Doctors in Love, a little cameo. It's cute. It is a Dumb darling movie. show. Is it? This is. You I haven't, haven't seen, seen it? it. No, I haven't seen well, it. Well, it hasn't been released yet. But Gary Marshall directed, who did Laverne and Shirley. A genius. And, that oh, man. funny, funny man. And I, I predict, for whatever it's worth, it's going to be as big or bigger than Airplane. It's the same kind of film in that genre. Right. And it pokes fun at people. Mm -hmm. You've got to see it, because this is going to be the sleeper of the year. It's going to be That's a what they're big, saying. funny, They went funny. in with that attitude, thinking Airplane might be a yeah. good situation to take it off into a hospital. So you come by real quickly, though. Oh yeah, very, a little small cameo. A little, little, little cameo. I had been offered a role in their in the in the movie, but I was advised um, by my agent to turn it down, and I'll never forgive him for it. What part were you supposed to play? Uh, the good-looking you know, doctor who gets the roller skater. That's a. Oh, we've been popping the pills in the whole bit. No, the not that one. Yeah, who gets the roller? The skater. roller skater. See, I wish I could have. Who, seen she, the nurse who was on the roller skates. I think a patient who comes in and gets pregnant has a... Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, we'll look for... We'll look for now we're ruining the movie. Young Doctors in Love, and you're going to see her in Best Little Whorehouse in Texas. What part do you play? Because I haven't seen that one yet. Um, I play a character named Taddy Jo. She's one of the girls in the house. Oh. oh. <laughs> well, best of luck to you in both the movies and Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. Give your mother our love and I will. thank her for having you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I will. If it hadn't been for Sandy Frost, your mother, you wouldn't be here. That's so right. I'm certainly glad. Good luck. Thank Thanks you. Nice to meet you. And 10-11 Morning continues.